Well, as you may know, Tara Lane is performing on this season of The Voice when she won her first won her spot on Team Blake in the blind auditions. But what you may not know is that Tara was born right here on the north side. And even though she moved on to Nashville and L.A., Pittsburgh still holds a special place in her heart. And Tara, Tara is with us this morning. Good to see you. Great to see you. Congratulations. This is exciting. Thank you. It definitely is. It's quite a ride. Yeah, my family, we love The Voice. So we're going to be following you. Tell us what happened. First of all, why did you even want to go on the show? Um, well, of course, I'm an artist in my shoes. We are aiming to expand our fan base in any, any way possible. And the exposure of The Voice and even the experience, being able to um, perform in front of these incredible, accomplished artists is just an amazing experience. Well, because you've already really had a lot of success already. You've got your new CD out here, mm -hmm. which looks great. Once you go red, and then you also, I saw um, your song is in the new Barbie Spy Squad movie as Strength in Numbers. You have sung with Gavin McGraw, open for him. So now to have this national exposure on the network, what was it like when you got before the judges? It was, it's an experience you can't even like describe. I mean, I feel like everything that's happened in my career is so far, all the struggling and then, mm -hmm. you know, even all the wins, all the milestones just like came to that one moment. Yeah. And then you just kind of open your mouth and it comes out. <laughs> so Blake turned around for you mm -hmm. and you chose him what was that like just singing before these judges who I mean they're so famous Miley Cyrus Adam Levine Blake Alicia Keys it it was incredible I mean they're all I listened to all of their music which mm -hmm. is really really cool and especially Alicia she's always been an artist that I've loved covering in the past and she's an idol of mine so but just being able loud. to sing in front of those people just to see their reaction mm -hmm. and it's it was. It was just incredible. Was it nerve-wracking, though? Oh, gosh. <laughs> it was, I, uh, no joke, I was probably more scared than I ever was on a stage. Okay. And usually I'm pretty comfortable, but uh -huh. yeah, being on that stage, I don't think anybody <laughs> can't be scared. Yeah, I would think so. Well, so I know you can't say what's happening, because some of this is taped, mm -hmm. so we'll have to just watch to see where you end up, right? Yeah. And then eventually it's live, so we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. um, so let's talk about where you grew up. Where did you go to school around here? I um, was born on the north side. Uh -huh. and I was raised in Hampton Township. Okay, okay. So I'm from Gibsonia. Great. And your family still all here? My whole family is here, all over, greater Pittsburgh area. And you have a lot of siblings? Yes, I have five other siblings. I always have to like count in my head because I feel like I have so many. But, yeah. Are they all rooting for you watching the show? Yes, they're all, I feel like everybody, friends and family have just been so supportive. Everybody's so excited, especially online, like on Facebook and Twitter. Everybody's like sharing all of my news and it's just, it's very heartwarming. That's great. Well, you know, in addition to being a great singer, you're a songwriter, which is really a, quite a talent. So you've written the songs on here. Yes. Um, I read a little bit about your past. You've gone through a a lot of challenges and some tragedy with your uh, your dad dying. Uh, tell me what happened when you two were kind of reconnecting and hoping to do some music together. Sure. Um, when we started to reconnect, when I uh, like a little better when I went to college, mm -hmm. and then after after college, we were planning on kind of moving in together to um, do some music together. He like built a little studio um, down in Florida for us. And he ended up passing away from liver cirrhosis. He was an alcoholic. Wow. And um, that's when I moved to Nashville with mm -hmm. my boyfriend at the time. Wow. And then more tragedy with him too, is that right? Yes. Um, we ended up leaving Nashville because we had a little bit of a struggle with alcohol also. And oh, he wow. went back to um, Cincinnati. I returned to Pittsburgh to do some self-discovery. And then not too long after, he took his life. Oh my goodness gracious I mean how does music help you get through these things it's the main thing that helps me get through of course um, I write purely from experience and from the heart and um, it's just inspires me to keep going really I mean have you written about those things in particular yes I definitely have um, a lot of the things that I really um, like those specific things uh, I haven't released anything thus far because it's I've been really particular about it but this coming year people are going to be able to hear a little bit more about that side of my story yeah and what do you hope to accomplish whether it's through the voice or something else like what's your dream my dream is just to keep going in music I've always wanted to sing I want to sing on bigger and bigger stages I want to tour the world um, I want to inspire people especially little girls with 
with being involved with Mattel. Um, Welcome to Monster High just came out last week, and I'm the lead singer on that. Oh, fantastic. It's crazy. My friend just um, sent me a little video the other day, and I'm actually singing on a doll. No way. The yeah. actual Barbie doll you buy in the store, your voice comes out of her head. It's a, yeah, <laughs> it's a Monster High doll. Yes, like oh, I know exactly what Yeah, and she's like, is this your voice? And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's like, this is crazy. Because I remember being little, having the little Ariel doll, like, yeah. ah. And like now oh I'm singing goodness. it all. It's that good. is exciting. Well, congratulations you. to you. And tell us about the song you're going to sing for us this morning. Um, I'm going to be singing the lead single off of my EP, Once You Go Red. Um, it's mm -hmm. called Cherry Moonshine. Um, right it's now, about. it's about, it's honestly just about, you know, the party wild side of me. And um, I did film a little video up at the, um, up at the farm that we live at and how oh, the family um, that will probably be released pretty soon is like a lyric video. Fantastic. But yeah, it's just kind of expressing myself about me and my friends just getting getting crazy over the years. Nice. Well, we can think about you doing that here in our area. So stay with us. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back to hear Tara sing for us a version of her original song, Cherry Moonshine, when PTL comes right back. Taking fatty control, baby, you're playing, but I rule my own. I don't need a leash to pull me along. The ice is breaking. We've been talking with singer and songwriter Tara Lane this morning, a hometown girl who is making it big in Los Angeles and appearing on The Voice. And here she is now singing her original song, Cherry Moonshine, with Craig Artlett accompanying her on guitar. <laughs> And it's out of control Maybe you're playing But I wrote my own I don't need a leash To pull me along The ice is breaking The fire is lit You won't be rescued If you're falling It's sink or swim Let's one warning If I choose you Honey, can you handle the truth? I got a sweet tooth, honey. Oh, oh I'm singing for my brown baby with my cherry moonshine. I'm not a looker, I ain't a good girlfriend. A chance to die, you're not familiar with the reasons I don't get paid. Good at lying. I had a man, he was way too kind. He couldn't kill the itch, he's a lover for life. It's a damn shame. Break what remains. If I choose you, honey, can you handle the truth? Choose you. I'm not really sure. Um, I told somebody recently that I remember one day we were on a backcountry road. We used to spend a lot of summers up in Cotney Out Lake. And um, we were listening to some radio station that was coming in, and Muddy Waters came on. I was about 12 or 13, and it just hit me in a really, 
really interesting way. And ever since then, I was like, I want to be an artist that does that. And um, it's just stuck with me. Very nice. And you're singing in the area again. Yes, I'm going to be performing um, November 1st at 8 p.m. at James Street Gastro Pub. Fantastic. Yes. Well, thank you so much. Nice to have you here, too, Craig. Thank, thank you. you. All right, so look for Tara Lane competing on The Voice and for her new EP called Once You Go Red and an appearance back here in her hometown of Pittsburgh, November 1st. And you can follow her on Facebook page and look for that link at kdka.com slash PTL. Good luck. We'll be following you on Thank The Voice you. as well. All right, we'll be right back with one more check of your local forecast for Friday Night Football and all your weekend plans. Oh, yeah.